Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, May 23rd, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. You know, the other day I mentioned that the broadcast networks want to be considered 52 week a year programmers. They program all year long. That is the message that they sent out at the recent upfront presentations. But Wednesday of this week marked the conclusion of the traditional TV season, which is September through May, and NBC and CBS were very verbal in terms of claiming victory for the traditional season. So they do program 12 months out of the year now, but CBS and NBC shared leadership in the traditional season. CBS was most watched. NBC was number one among adults 18 to 49. And Wednesday also marked the conclusion of the May 2014 sweeps. Once upon a time, this was a very big deal. It no longer is, but again, victory was claimed by ABC among adults 18 to 49 in the sweep. Now let's talk about American Idol. It concluded its 13th season on Wednesday and the season finale ratings were the lowest ever for a season ender. This is no surprise. American Idol averaged 10.5 million viewers on Wednesday. It averaged a 2.6 rating among adults 18 to 49, which tied competing Survivor on CBS, which concluded its season. But the difference is American Idol was way down. Survivor is consistent. Now last year at this time, Idol concluded with 14.3 million viewers and a 3.8 rating in the demo, which means that year to year, Idol slipped by 32% among adults 18 to 49. And if you go back to 2006, American Idol peaked with 36.8 million viewers and a 12.4 rating among adults 18 to 49 for its season finale. So obviously American Idol is a shell of what it once was. It is coming back next season, but if the erosion continues, this could ultimately end up concluding its season with 8 million viewers and a 2 rating in the demo. So at some point, Fox really needs to end this. Let's head over to cable. We TV has announced an upcoming new scripted drama called South of Hell. It will focus on a female demon hunter living in Savannah, Georgia, who goes in pursuit of other demons, but she is struggling with her own demon. So it's a drama about demons, and that's going to debut at some point in 2015. FX has announced that its upcoming sitcom Partners will debut on Monday, August 4th from 9 to 10 p.m. This is the tale of two mismatched lawyers in Chicago, played by Kelsey Grammer and Martin Lawrence who form a friendship. It's sort of like an odd couple and it was sold on a 1090 formula. That means that FX with the production company Debmar Mercury and Lionsgate initially ordered 10 episodes. If partners meet, meets excuse me, a certain ratings goal, another 90 will be ordered. Chances are it will meet that goal because I do believe it is a low goal. This is the same way Anger Management with Charlie Sheen was launched. So it opens up on Monday, August 4th from 9 to 10 p.m. with back-to-back -back episodes for five straight weeks, and it leads into the return of Anger Management. Lifetime has a new scripted drama coming up called The Lottery. That's going to open on Sunday, July 20th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. If you visit our website or check out today's newsletter, you can get a description of The Lottery. Sci-Fi has acquired the off-network rights to... Um, drama Spartacus, which originally aired on Stars for three seasons plus a prequel. It produced 39 episodes. It is going to begin on Sci-Fi and Repeats on Thursday, June 26 at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And TBS has ordered an additional 10 episodes of the current sophomore season of Deal With It, which was created by Howie Mandel, and it is described as a hidden camera prank game show. Now, coming up on the air tonight, ABC is bringing back what would you do for a new season? To me, that always signals the beginning of the summer TV season, and NBC is concluding the sophomore season of Drama Hannibal. You have to give NBC credit. It likes to show it renewed it for a third season. It's coming back next year in midseason, despite the fact that the ratings are truly anemic. On this day in TV history, let's go back to a very peculiar event. In 2005, Tom Cruise was a guest on Oprah Winfrey's daytime talk show, and he decided, I'm going to jump on our couch to profess my love for Katie Holmes. Well, he married Katie, the marriage didn't last, and I assume he will no longer be jumping on anyone's couch. Let's go back to 1994. 
four was the conclusion of syndicated Star Trek The Next Generation. ABC Family sitcom Full House concluded in 1995 on this day. Star Trek Voyager ended on UPN in 2001. And one of my personal favorites, ABC's Lost, ended its sixth season run on this day in 2010. Now, this is Memorial Day weekend, which means we will not be producing a newsletter or a video cast on Monday. But before, I wish you a good weekend, a good holiday weekend. Let me bring on my co-host, who's sitting here. He has a lot of work to do today, but he's sleeping on the job. His name is Buster Berman, as you know. Buster and I want to wish you a very nice holiday weekend. And I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, which is television, on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Signing off, Mark and Buster Berman.